Hello YouTube. This is Sonia Walker from Sonia Walker Creations coming to you today to show a little demonstration on a Union Soldier watercolor painting. Now today I am working on a surface that is a hot press. The paper is called a uh, watercolor hot press. And usually with a hot press uh, paper you'll find that the surface is a little more smoother as opposed to the cold press that gives you a little textured surface. So the surface on this hot press is a lot smoother although I chose this as uh, it was a choice to do this painting and I don't particularly care for the surface because on this hot press paper it tends to separate the paint from the water. As soon as I lay down, well I found that as soon as I lay down the paint when it begins to absorb into the paper it separates from the water. Now, I don't know if many of you have observed that about this paper, but that's what I noticed because it is really, really like a sponge. It absorbs the water and the water sinks to the bottom where the paint stays more on the surface. That's an observation of mine. Some, some might like that about it, but... I found it a little difficult to manipulate the paint on it. But, nonetheless, I started the painting with the paper and I wanted to finish it. So today I'm just showing you a little bit of my uh, technique on how I lay, lay down watercolor on this surface. Now, uh, the way I paint is a layering process. I tend to study the image a lot just so I can find where the details are and um, determine what area I want to work on first. This is a piece that I started some years ago. Um, kind of lost interest in it um, when I made the move to Atlanta and <clears throat> never picked it up again until now decided that I wanted to work on it again and finish it and uh, complete my series on Union Soldier images and um, I know my brother is happy that I picked it up as well because he's been saying you need to finish that piece so anyway I'm carefully studying this piece so I can uh, try to uh, finish it the way I started it years ago. Sometimes getting back on an old piece requires you studying it, almost like an exam to see uh, if you're familiar with the area like you used to be. So I'm putting on light washes in order to build them up. I, some people lay down watercolor where they put a lot of paint down first. I tend to lay them down in light washes in order to build on it later. You know, it's best to start light and build instead of starting heavier where you wanted to take away from it later. So that's that's the way I approach it. So as I try to lay down these <coughs> light washes, so I can see where I should head next with it. It'll it'll help me determine my direction. So this is a, a, a painting of a Union soldier image. Um, I was part of a reenactment group in Savannah. And we did reenactments pertaining to the Civil War. And this is one of our reenactors, Murray Doherty, who has since passed. 
and I actually wanted to finish this piece before Mari did um, before he passed and I did, had no idea he was sick and I was so disappointed that I didn't finish it and he didn't get a chance to see a completed piece but I'm going to make sure that his wife is presented with a copy of this image but like I said it's a layering process in the way that I take my time to lay the paint down it will take a while to do it but that's the beauty of watercolor you know you have to have patience in order to do it at least do it the way that I'm doing it but I prefer this method and as you can see with the um, I don't know if you can see, uh, let me zoom in a little closer to see, show you the hands on the piece, because the hands, you can see I'm in the middle of laying down the different colors, and it's a layering process, and you can see the various tones where it's a little darker in here, and I haven't quite laid down as much. Uh, paint on this area so I'm building my colors slowly and here's a little darker but as I lay down the colors it determines or tells me where I need to put more on the surface and you can see on the lips the face is a little bit more completed than the rest of the image but I tend to jump around and focus on the area that interest me more but I will um, complete another recording of this painting or produce another video to show you the progress because I'm not going to finish it all in this setting but I wanted to show you a little give you a little demonstration of my watercolor technique so this is Sonya Walker from Sonya Walker Creations and Telling you to stay tuned for part two. Have a blessed day.